start with essential and non essential parts of a flower children i have already discussed the structure of a flower and i have told you that there are four whorls present in a flower and those whorls are calyx corolla endosium and gynoecium endosium and gynoecium are the reproductive whorls whereas calyx and corolla are the helping whorls so let's start with essential parts the parts of a flower that are directly concerned with reproduction and those parts are endosium and gynoecium stamen and pistil are the individual units of endosium and gynoecium children here you can see a bilobed structure this is called as anther whereas a thin structure is called as filament anther and filament together forms the stamen in the anther lobe pollen sacs are present inside which pollen grains are produced pollen grains are responsible for the production of male gametes let's come to pistil now in the gynoecium individual units are called as pistil here you can see in the central region this one is the pistil this top part is called as the stigma which is responsible for the landing of the pollen grains and here this thin part is called as the stipe at the base ovary is present which has ovule in it and inside the ovule egg cells are produced so children these two parts stamen and pistil are directly concerned with reproduction that's why these two whorls are called as the essential parts of a flower let's move on to the non essential parts of a flower the non essential parts of a flower are also called as accessory parts and these parts are the helping parts of a flower these parts are not directly concerned with reproduction therefore these are the non essential parts of a flower thank you children that's all about essential and non essential parts of a flower